we'll have more needlework hints next week when Philippa will be showing us how to stitch up the mouth of a talkative friend or relative. <laughs> and now, as usual on Fridays, it's over to Marjorie to see what sort of week she's been having. Hello, Marjorie. What sort of week have you been having? <laughs> well, hello, Joan. I've been having a very hectic time. On Monday, my husband and I tile the bathroom. More of that later. And on Tuesday, we file for divorce. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think you might follow the trend, Marjorie, of the rather worn-out, middle-aged woman shacking up with the much younger man? Well, it's certainly worth looking into, Joan. <laughs> One of the things I do like about younger men is that they tend not to wear pyjamas. By pyjamas, you mean nightwear generally? Yes, and striped garments in particular. <laughs> yes, because I know from our postbag, Marjorie, a lot of our viewers find folding pyjamas quite an arduous task. That's right, Joan. Often leading to lower back pain, depression, dependence on tranquilizing drugs, and sadly, alas, to suicide. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Double glazing, haven't you, Marjorie? Cheap double glazing, Joan. <laughs> With the emphasis on the cheap rather than the glazing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, so what in I effect, we don't have to spend three or four or five thousand pounds keeping our homes draft free. No. So, so how do we go about it? <laughs> um, I'm sorry, could you just move away? Your breath smells. <laughs> just out, reports that most of the heat loss lost from rooms actually escapes through the glass. That is, the see-through part of the window. <laughs> now, double glazing can cover up the glass, but it can't take it away. <laughs> now, a new firm has come up with a revolution cheaper idea of taking the glass away and bricking up the spaces where the windows used to be. And hey presto, no glass, no drafts, no heat loss. No light. No, I suppose not, Joan. I suppose you prefer to be in the dark, will you, if you're planning to sleep with lots of younger men? Well, just blindfold them in the lobby. I'm telling you, see the way.